So here I've got a Chevy 350 engine. This is a 5.7 liter out of a 1999 C2500. It's got the factory oil cooler installed. And it pretty much leaks at every single fitting here, every single connection. Um, so I've decided uh, that instead of replacing the hoses, I'm just going to remove the oil cooler entirely because I don't really do any towing with it and uh, I don't think I need an oil cooler. So I'm going to instead uh, install this part here. It's the MFA350. And this is what it is. It's a has two bolt holes. It's going to I'm going to remove this one and bolt this down in place and then my filter will screw down here directly. I'm going to miss having the oil filter down low. Uh, it was easy to, to get to but um, I really don't like all the leaking and uh, so I'm just going to get rid of these hoses. I probably also it will improve my oil pressure. I'm not, in fact I know it will because uh, of the leaking. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove that oil filter and then we can get access to the two bolts that are holding the adapter in place. Show you the bolts. They're Allen head bolts and they are quarter inch. So I'll be removing those now. Bolt, uh, they're not very tight. And my uh, MFA three fifty did not come with bolts, so. I'm going to be investigating the threads of these bolts to see what I need to use. And I'm also going to measure the protruding length to see how long the bolt needs to be. So there we go. There is a washer here. It sort of, I guess, would emulate a oil filter and I'm going to remove that and clean this up and we can also take a look look at those bolts there looks like they're protruding in maybe uh, a half an inch I'll measure that to see and I guess after uh, this is a 99 so this 24 years, perhaps the thing was leaking from this gasket here. Um, but anyway, it, I'm sure it was leaking everywhere. But I'm going to get rid of this thing. I don't need it. I don't believe. Yeah, there's a gasket down in there too. I'm going to get that out of there. It looked like a, some sort of normally. It's a paper gasket. I'll show you a piece of it that flew out of there. I'm glad I noticed it. It's super brittle. And I read that uh, you don't want a gasket in there because when it breaks down, it can suck into the motor and give you a problem. So, I will clean that up. I noticed uh, this wasn't sitting flush and it's because this gasket was kind of bubbled up. So now I'm going to install the oil filter uh, adapter here. I've cleaned up the gasket as much as I could and uh, this is again the Melling uh, MFA 350. And it has a, a raised ridge, they call it, or an embossed feature that's going to seal. I don't, I'm not going to even use a gasket. I'm just going to bolt it down dry like that. Because the other, uh, I had a gasket. The, the gaskets don't seem to fit this very well. 
and I don't really think it needs sealing. I think it'll seal just fine that way. And it's being held by these uh, 5 16 18 by 1 inch uh, bolts. And I'm using the washers from the old uh, bolts just to help spread the load. And uh, it's kind of weird, this motor, uh, just when I think it's all metric, it's parts of it are metric and parts of it are uh, SAE. These bolts are SAE. The exhaust manifold and the intake manifold bolts, they're metric. It's kind of a odd, I, I really don't know what's going on with the, uh, why their part is metric and some parts are SAE. But, um, anyway, these, these are one quarter inch. Uh, Allen bolt. So now I can just uh, thread the uh, filter on there and good to go. No, no more worries about leaks from all the pipes and hoses and fittings that went everywhere. The way I'm going to use this truck I don't really think it's going to get that hot. There we go, we're done. Again it's the MFA 350.